And straight from the magical wonderland that is Yahoo Auctions, I have a very special treat. Uh, so someone had uh, sent the link to me for this for this item, and I uh, I decided I needed to have it. Um, it's nothing too special, and I probably did overpay. In fact, I don't even want to say how much I paid, but it is. A Game Boy Advance, but not just any Game Boy Advance. This is an Intelligent Systems Game Boy Advance. Huh? Huh? Looks pretty normal from the front. Might see this little bundle of wires sticking up. If we flip it over to the back, you can see this plug here. Uh, this is how the Game Boy gets power. And you see it doesn't have the regular stickers, but it does have this debugger AGB serial number Intelligent Systems company limited sticker on the back so what this thing was used for this was used in conjunction with the uh, Game Boy Advance dev kit that uh, Nintendo made uh, actually Intelligent Systems was the one who made it and this Game Boy is supposed to go with that dev kit now I really wanted this thing because I think dev hardware and prototypes and stuff is is cool as all hell. I've been trying to get my hands on a Space World prototype for years at this point, and um, much to my disappointment, they've been getting popular lately, which makes getting them even harder. Uh, I mean, it's cool, and I love learning more about them, but the sad reality is, is I, it, it makes, it puts them ever so slightly out of my reach, so I decided this would be a neat consolation prize. Uh, but, I really want to see what's in this thing. Now, when I first saw the listing pop up, my initial hopes were, oh man, this is going to be one of those cool prototype Game Boy Advances, but it's, you know, the more I thought about it, the, the less sense that made, and I decided that this thing is probably just retail hardware, but with a few modifications to work with the, the debug kit, uh, namely the hole cut in the battery compartment for this bundle of wires and the lack of battery terminals because this thing is powered by the kit itself instead of being powered by batteries. But one thing that I was not able to find were uh, teardowns of these things. So I'm still thinking this is probably retail hardware, but Hopefully we'll have a prototype motherboard in this thing with an X designation instead of a retail off-the-shelf designation. Uh, one thing that I already noticed before tearing it down was, I don't know how well you can see that. Let me angle that a little differently. There we go. You can see 10 space 1-2 in there, which indicates that, assuming this follows the normal patterns that the retail models followed, this is going to be a 32-pin Game Boy Advance instead of a 40-pin. But really, I think it's just a regular Game Boy Advance, but with uh, removed battery terminals for the most part. And it's been killing me to know what these other two wires are, because this is a 6-pin connection with four wires populated. So let me go ahead and tear this apart. Unfortunately, I might have to cut this zip tie. But we'll see how much slack we have. I was going to save this and do a stream, but I don't know. I, I'm worried that it's really not going to be that exciting on the inside. I mean, it's going to be exciting to know for sure what's in here, but I don't know. I, this, this, isn't, this isn't content enough for a stream, I think. It's neat, sure, but... Okay. If nothing else, though, it is basically brand new. It feels very, very, very lightly used. Which is something that I'm not used to. Usually I get, like, bargain bin Game Boys that have been used so heavily to barely even work. Right, I really want to get that last screw out. 
All right, fine. Try sliding that off. It's not really working. Uh, and I can already see that I'm going to be disappointed. This is a bone stock retail Game Boy Advance. Oh, I definitely overpaid. <laughs> yeah, bone stock AGB CPU 10. Instead of having battery terminals, it's just wires are soldered straight to the battery terminals. Everything else seems pretty normal, except we still have these gray and purple wires running somewhere to the front. Let us investigate further. I think those are probably just tied to the reset line so the debug kit can reset the Game Boy automatically. Interesting. So it runs into the purple wire goes into that FIQ test pin and then the gray wire goes I mean I guess that's reset? I don't know. It's hard to tell which one's which. So that would be VDD2, that's Q10B, Q8B, it's probably VR2. BDD3, TP6, TP4. So yeah, that's reset. So yeah, that's exactly what that does. But there you go. Still pretty cool. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but uh, neat nonetheless. What do you think? Should I backlight it? No, I'm kidding. But am I? And somehow I forgot to try this out. Um, but the connector is just standard 2.5 millimeter pins, so I just plugged in some extra header and then clipped on my power supply. I set it to 3 volts. And... Uh, Ta-da! Like I said, just stock, off-the-shelf Game Boy Advance. Nothing special. Functionality-wise. Ta-da! And we could do something with the other two lines if we wanted to, uh reset it, but that's pretty much it. Nothing, uh, nothing more to talk about. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.